Dave for I Start Today's Emulation Station Desktop Edition and Xbox 360 Setup Guide. If you like what you see today, hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content here on my channel, Just Jamie. That means you'll get notified every time I release a new setup guide and it really helps out my channel too. So the other day, a couple of days ago, I uploaded CMU or SEMU, that's the Wii U emulator and how to add that with Emulation Station Desktop Edition. Today we are doing Xbox 360. Now, we got a couple of routes to go down with this. I'm personally going to be using Xenia Canary. And the reason that is, is that Xenia Canary is more often updated than the stable version of Xenia. So that's what we're going to be using today. And by far, it supports many more games than the regular Xenia. So what we're going to do first of all is actually download Xenia Canary Experimental. So the latest release of this from recording this video was three days ago. As we can see, we're just going to download the Xenia underscore Canary dot zip. And by the way, I'm also using a portable version of ESDE. So what I'm going to do then is just extract Xenia Canary. As we can see, I've just downloaded it here and it downloads into a zip folder. So we just want to go inside of there. And in fact, let's just drag those contents out onto the desktop. Very easy. And whilst we're in here, I've got a game. This is in ISO file extension and that's going to work fine. So what we're going to do is just go into the location of where everything is for emulation station. We're going to go to emulators and in here I'm going to create a new folder. So right click new folder and I'm going to call this folder Xenia. Very simple so far. Now I'm going to drag the license and the Xenia underscore canary inside of that Xenia folder I've just created. Once we're in here, I'm going to rename Xenia underscore Canary. Now, if you're using the regular Xenia for this, which I don't particularly recommend, it should just read Xenia.exe. If not, just make sure it does read Xenia.exe. So let's just rename this one for now. Just right click, show more options, go down to rename. And I'm going to just backspace so it just reads Xenia.exe. And that's it. So, of course, we now need to add our games. Like I was saying, I've got a game here, Street Fighter X Tekken, and that's in ISO file extension. So, that's going to go into my ROMs underscore all folder. And we're just going to go down and we're going to find Xbox 360. And here it is. So, that's just going to drag and drop inside of here very easily. Now, just remember, in each one of these folders for your games, you should have a uh, system info.txt. Just go inside of there. And it should tell you which file extensions are supported. So as we can see, I've got .iso and that will work fine for me. So what we are going to do next then is just open up Emulation Station. Just to make sure everything's working so far. So es-de.exe. And here we go. So we've got Xbox 360 and here's our game. So first of all, let's just grab some artwork. So main menu, I'm using an Xbox controller for this. Scraper, scrape these systems and just make sure Microsoft Xbox 360 is checked. Go to back and then just go down to start. Okay, cool. So we can now OK that. And here we go. So if we open this up. Cool, so as you can see, this is now opened up, but it's not opened up into a full screen, so that's a little bit annoying. Street Fighter Cross Tekken! Now with Xenia Canary nowadays with the latest update, we also got the ability to save games too, which is pretty cool. So what we're going to do here is just create a profile, and I'm going to call this Street Fighter for example. And if you're wondering which games run with Xenia Canary, I've recently released a few videos showcasing what's capable of running. So I'll leave the link in my description for a couple of those videos. Anyways, we're going to go to create. Drop this one down. Street Fighter. Okay. Cool, so as you can see, everything's running very well just there. So we're just going to come out of Emulation Station, so Main Menu and go down to Quit. 
Now, if we go into the emulators folder, into the Xenia folder, now what we're going to do is just right click on the Xenia Canary .config .toml. So right click on that one and we're going to edit in Notepad. Now from here, we can mess around with different settings such as video settings, but the one we're gonna be altering or editing is display. So just a minute ago, I opened up the game in emulation station, and of course it was displaying in window mode. So what we need to do is just backspace false, and then type in true. And we're gonna look at the file and save. And if we just close this one down, we're now gonna go back into ESD once again. And there we have it, we're now going into full screen mode automatically. Street Fighter Cross Tekken! Okay, so what happens if your controller doesn't work? So it's just another case then of going into the directory of where your emulators are and if I open up that configuration file again and remember this has been opened up with notepad and here we go we're going to look for the word hit and that's going to be in brackets and what we can actually do here is change any and we can put something in here which is a bit more appropriate which might work for you so for example we can type in x input or if that doesn't work for you, we can also try SDL. Just remember when we're editing this, if you don't file and save, then those changes aren't going to take effect. Other things we can do within this document is go down to interlaced and you're going to see below that internal display resolution. Now by default, this one is at 8. And if we take a look just here, which is now highlighted, we can actually increase or decrease the internal resolution of how the game looks. So for example, if I wanted to upscale this internally to 1080p, all I'd need to do is just backspace the digit 8 and then retype in 16. And then just a case of going back to file and then save. And if we just look a little bit further down, we can even change this to widescreen or 4x3 aspect ratio. So if I was to backspace true and then type in false, file, save. And let's open this up once more. And as we can see, we now got 4x3, although this should still be outputting it 1080p, as I've just changed that in editing the text document. Let the madness begin! And that's it for today's ESD and Xbox 360 setup guide. Just make sure if you're new to Emulation Station or there's anything particular you're looking to set up, I've actually got a playlist full of Emulation Station setup guides and I'm going to leave that linked in my comments section. So be sure to check that out. Also be sure to check out the rest of my front end content. I've done everything from Retro Bat to Retro FE, Bats Era and beyond. Anyways, also make sure to subscribe, hit notifications so you don't miss upcoming Retro Emulation content. And be sure to join me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok. But until next time, stay retro. Retro.